good morning and welcome back to the vlogs <laughs> excuse the mess of the room it's like a bomb went off i know but i'm trying to get ready and i'm in a rush and i've got a busy day ahead so i thought it was a perfect day to come vlog and um, so i'm gonna go and get my nails done and then i'm going straight into a ysl event then i'm meeting a photographer to do some shooting for some work bits in town i actually don't even know what's next on my list or something should do but anyway let's go just parked outside this always happens to me i'm so panicked going somewhere that i'm gonna be late I'm never late, like I'm always early. But if I'm like not 20 minutes early to something, with time to sit in the car and like get myself ready and I just panic. Anyway, I'm here in time, so it's fine. I'm just ready to go into Allower to get my nails done. So I don't know what we're going for. I can turn these claws into maybe green. I feel it's kind of having a moment. Okay, I actually got out of there way quicker than I thought I would. So I'm gonna just sit in my car and just get my emails done while I'm on the go, I might as well, but Okay, I thought I was gonna go for green because green was having the moment like I said, but then they showed me this really dark navy blue <gasps> Can you see that? Okay, into town. No emails, into town, YSL event. Let's go I'm in that moment of pure panic that I need to go to the bathroom so bad I actually don't know if I'll make it if I get out of the car Why didn't I just go? Just got to the Morgan for the YSL event and the bathrooms are just ridiculous like. Is this the outfit? Boots are Zara, pants are Zara, belt is Zara, <laughs> jumper Zara, coat is H&M. How gorgeous. Oh my god, so beautiful. So just going up to the head YSL makeup artist. He's been flown over from France and he's gonna go through some of the collection with me on my own. It's so cool. Little hair makeup check. No pressure when you're going to meet head makeup artist of YSL. I've actually met him like one or two times at other events, but like when you're on your own, I'm nervous. That I know you'll obviously love to hear about as well, Bonnie. Yeah, well, I'm just, firstly, the packaging is just right up my street, like. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was insane. Like, it was proper one-on-one. -on -one. I was just trying to pick his brain on everything and they gave me all the Christmas collection and everything, so I'm, I'm shook. Anyway, going into town to shoot now. Do you want a coffee? Yes, please, thank you. Do you want any food? Let me check my diary in a minute. I'm just home from the YSL event, which was very exciting. So I I didn't realize it was gonna be so one-on-one, -on -one, like as in he was actually just there with me and the collection and going through everything. So that was pretty insane. Um, and now I'm home and I'm gonna make some lunch. Also met a photographer in town. We shot this look, cause it's cute. Actually, if anybody in my family saw the outfit I had on today, like this outfit, the polo neck, the leather pants, the belt, the boots, the fur coat, all of it together. I'm not joking. I could have been dressing up as my dad's mother for Halloween because it's actually her exact style. John, am I actually emulating Maureen lately? 100%. So strange. And it's just happening by mistake. I don't know where this is coming from. If only I had her legs. Um, yeah, so turns out I'm turning into my dad's mother. It was um, a costume maker, the most unbelievable body. Like she was so tall, big boobs, tiny waist, um, wore leather pants till the day she died and she was in her 90s. Nobody knew what age she actually was until she died. Um, and just always had cool jewelry on, like, you know, gold hoops, gold rings. She was like, as I get older, I'm actually like, you're actually my style queen. So I'm very much emulating her today. So this is my Maureen Ryan look. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna eat some lunch now and finish editing some work. And then I'm going over to Lottie's apartment. I'm gonna mind Wolf for an hour or two and then I'll come home and have some dinner and stuff. And then myself and John will just hang out and do something. Then tomorrow I'm up early again and I am out to 
John's off to a Liverpool match for the day or for the night and I am going to a fashion event in the morning that I'm recording a podcast over on the south side um, after that and then god then I don't know what else I've got going on but anyway you'll see in the next few minutes because it'll be on the vlog so I'm gonna eat my food now look at that beautiful sunshine coming in and the new sitting room my YSL stuff Couches are M. Kelly interiors. My new rug is from Matt Britton. The tables in the middle are, they were my two little side tables, but now I push, put them together and I actually think it looks really nice. They are from Wafer. I'm just in the lift in Lottie's apartment. So we definitely got a McDonald's, I can smell it. Um, she was on a meeting, so I was just minding Wolf so she could go into the sitting room. God love him, he only started crash this week. So like he's completely out of his routine. Um, but anyway, Lottie got her meeting done and Wolf will be okay. He just needs to get settled in his crash and his whole world has been turned upside down like in two days, like everything he's ever known is just completely different now. So I feel so sorry for him, but he'll be all right. So that is a wrap on the majority of today. I'm gonna head back to my house now. I only live around the corner from Lottie, so it's grand. I'll be home in probably 60 seconds and put on some dinner and I need to edit a video for work, but I can just do that on the couch after my dinner while I watch something on telly, so all good. And I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it is Wednesday. I'm just dressed, debating whether or not to wear the belt on the outside. I'll show you in the mirror, it looks kind of cute. I'm heading into an F&F &F event clothing um, in the Dillon now. So I'm gonna drive over, pop into that. Today I love so much being like busy again and being able to go out to these things rather than just doing everything over the laptop. Okay, so I love this coat so much. I don't know if the belt is kind of cute because it goes with the coat or if I should do the belt on the inside. I kind of like it on the outside. I think I'm gonna go for the outside. Fuck it. Just arrived outside the Dillon Hotel. Tesco Christmas, things like women's wear, children's wear, men's fashion and all that nice stuff. So heading in now. Yeah. So this is just like a tiny fan shot. Like F and F have like, yeah. they're in about 80 stores around Ireland. Okay, so this is some of the clothes. Everything's very like New Year's Eve vibes. We've got like loads of sequins. They've some gorgeous cohorts. Like I think these are so in at the moment. Anything like that that came into Zara was like gone in a second. Um, and the price is so good as well. It has like the matching jumper. And then they've got some gorgeous like shimmer pieces, which would be really nice with like, I think belted or with leather pants. Um, and then some gorgeous coats and stuff as well. Everything's so nice. Christmas vibes. And then they've got all like the little kitty stuff. And then some of the men's stuff as well, which actually, I love this. I think that'd be fab for Christmas time with like a pair of slacks or something for the guys. It's actually super affordable. I'm just arriving now to go in and shoot the podcast. I hope I'm at the right place. I'm so bad with directions. Basically, it's called, it's where Georgie shoots the good glow and Brian does um, Death Becomes Him. They're starting up their own podcast, not them, but the company where they record. And it's called Trolled and it's basically just talking all about like online um, shit talk <laughs> um so i went in and just did a little podcast on it because i know i had spoken about it in my blog or my vlog a couple of weeks ago just that like i had seen something like my my take on it is like ignorance is bliss and i don't read anything because i don't know maybe that's from my dad like i just grew up in a family knowing that like as long as your friends and family know who you are, like that's what's important and you know that you're a good person and you're doing the best you can, like that's all that matters. And then I have a work call at three. So hopefully I'm back in the car before then to take it. Hello. <laughs> Miss me. Hello chicken. Home. Having a little bit of lunch. I just had a nice chicken wrap with peppers. I'm gonna have a quick cup of coffee, warm me up. Sorry. Probably not a very flattering angle. Um, Get this beautiful, beautiful. Have you ever seen a more tempting, delicious cup of coffee? 
maybe you have, but this is really good. Being on the old steps, 9,000, we're almost there. 4,000 to go for today. Let's do it. I'm about to head out now again to my meeting and I'm sorry, but like, he knows. I'm so sorry, honey, and when I get back, we're playing all evening, okay? I promise. Come here, before I go. I love you so much. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. I love you so, so much. You're the best. You're the best. What's in your eye? Let me get that for you. I love you. Good boy. I am fully exhausted. Back home. I need to like get this place under control. I just feel like the cleaning is just never ending. I've got one video that I want to edit this evening, so I'm going to try and get that done as well. But the cleaning is really a high priority because I can't eat my dinner when things aren't like fully clean in the sitting room and the kitchen. Actually, couldn't be happier. So, um, if you want to see more in depth about um, this couch setup. I have a thing up on my Instagram as well, but I think it's pronounced Boosley, Boosley, I'm not too sure. The material, it's fab, I absolutely love it. And then this is the setup here, so I've got some pictures, I've got candle, my giant diffuser from Avenue One, which I'm obsessed with. Um, so everyone in my family has one of these in their places. So like Lottie and Rex um, have them in their apartments. My mom has one over the main mantelpiece in her house and this is the one in my house. So we all got them in Disney, Florida. Um, and it's just that kind of special thing that we had in our family home and we all got them then when we went to Florida once we all had our own places. Um, and then I have this picture, which was a gift from my mom to my dad on his 50th. And she just says like happy birthday to him here um, and it's just like the most beautiful photo of him. I don't know if you can really see but he just looks so gorgeous um, and I just fell in love with this so I actually stole it from the house. Um, <laughs> I just love it so much. I think he looks so gorgeous and I just thought it would be lovely over my fireplace so I stole it from my mom. Sorry mom. Um, and then have my lovely hurricane vase, which um, when the candle is lit in it, it just lets off the most beautiful light. Okay, makeup is off. We're gonna get into bed and watch a little telly for a little while. See what's on. I don't know. I'm kind of in the mood for like something just like crappy TV, like Cinderella Story or something. And do it all again. Another busy day tomorrow. So up early. I'll take Bob's for a walk. And then I'm in my PT out in Malahide at nine. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave the vlog here. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. There'll be lots more vlogs coming. And um, like this video, comment, let me know what kind of video you want to see next. And I will see you in the next one. Bye from me and Bob's. <laughs>